Hey friends, several years ago I had an idea to rewrite some of the fairy tales Jamaican style. The first one I did was The Three Little Piggies of Westmoreland, then I did Red Running Hood, and after that I did Rapunzel of Ocho Rios. I recently decided I would do a video in which I could read it myself. So this first one I'm doing is The Three Little Piggies of Westmoreland. Give me your honest opinion. Here goes. Once upon a time, there were three little piggies. They lived in the parish of Westmoreland. When they were old enough, they had to leave home to fend for themselves. Before they left, Mama Pig warned them. Look out for the mongrel dog when named Carl Wolf. She gave them a life's lesson. No matter what you are doing in life, do the best you can do because of the best way to get through the world. Remember when I tell you, you know, all right, because if you can't hear, you are going to feel. The first little piggy was very lazy and did not like to do hard work, but he needed a house to live in, so he built one from grass straws. The second little piggy did not like how weak the grass straw house looked and thought his brothers might squeeze through to steal some salt and sugar, so he got some sticks from under the poinsy on a tree and used them to build himself a house. The third little pig liked to have good things and he worked very hard. He didn't think his brother's houses were strong enough, especially since it was hurricane season, so he got some blocks and steel and cement and built a beautiful house on the hill. His brothers laughed at him and said, Im shwafi, why am I do all that work when him house could have done be long time? But he paid no attention to them. Met them guan, he thought to himself. I mean, see him one them I go run come for bigger catch when the hurricane bust. Them bloody. One night, the big bad dog was passing by the first little piggy's house. He loved fat little piggies, and these piggies ate very well and looked very healthy. He shoved his hands between the straws, saw the little piggy, looked up to the heavens, and said, Thank you, Jesus, the one you fat like cut puss. He called out to the little piggy. Hey, little piggy, he shouted. Let me in, a man. I want come chill. No, sir, replied the little piggy. Mama warn me about you. You think me a kuno The dog, the dog became very angry and replied, "I going bark, I going bite, and I going charm me way in there." So the dog barked, and he bit, and he chewed his way into the first little piggy's house and ate him all up. Feeling accomplished and well fed, he rushed out of the house, beating his chest. "Man, a bad man," he said. Then corrected himself. "I mean." Dog a bad dog. The big bad dog then got to the second little piggy's house and realized he too was home. So he peeked between the sticks and called out to him. Wagwan, my friend piggy. Let me in, no man. We just want to come chill. You think me band big? Asked the piggy. Hungry must you bust your shot. But mama warned me about your satande. All right then, shouted the angry bad dog. Me go bark, me go bite, I may go charm me way in there tonight. You can't run, but you can't hide. So the dog barked, and he bit, and he chewed his way in and ate up the second little piggy. He sat down and let out a huge belch. No wonder them call me Wanga Goat, he thought. My belly still has more space in there. The big bad dog jumped down, jumped up and down a few times to make more space in his stomach. Then he went towards the third little piggy's house. Little did he know that this little piggy was no big head and no brains. Me want come in, the dog shouted impatiently. If you know what me know, your extra spot ya, shouted the little piggy. The dog was really angry now. So he barked and he bit and he chewed, but his teeth began to hurt and his lips were bruised. But still, he barked and he bit and he chewed and he barked and he bit and he chewed. And finally, he realized he wasn't getting in. Cha! shouted the bad dog. Long run, short catch, he shouted to the little piggy. And he started climbing onto the top of the house. I'm gonna go through the roof, he thought. The little piggy noticed this and shouted, So you now give up? Okay, all right. If you play with fire, you must get burned. He got a huge pot, filled it with water, and placed it on the wood fire, right underneath where the little, pig, the little dog would come through, the big dog would come through. 
By the time the dog got to the top of the roof, the water was very hot. Me a coming up, the dog shouted. Dog, me am your supper tonight. Yeah, man, come. Me a wait. Me a go niam dog for me supper tonight. When the big dog, bad dog was getting ready to jump through the roof, he had no idea what was waiting for him. The little piggy had a big pot of boiling water waiting for him. While he was sliding down the, the, the while he was jumping down through the roof, he squealed, Wee! in a teasing manner. All the while the little piggy is smiling and waiting for him. He finally got to the bottom and went splash into the pot of boiling water. The little piggy got him out, cleaned him up, and made a nice dish for his mother. The next day, the little piggy invited his mother for dinner and told her the whole story. You see what I'm telling her? She said. Your brother them, your brother them broke tick pushing at them ears, she sobbed. I'm tired to tell them so them too hard ears, you know. The little piggy comforted his mother. I am happy you learned the lesson, she said, hugging him. Making an effort to do your best at anything you do is the best way to succeed and stay safe in this world. That's the end of the story. Thank you for watching.